Well, well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back here at Feltrim Sports Complex to see another friendly match, another friendly match test, however you want to call it, between Lakeland United, between the Swans, the champions of the Florida West Conference of the United Premier Soccer League, against DME Academy Soccer, a private academy that resides on Daytona Beach. They're going to be testing themselves against the likelihood of the champions of the Florida West Conference. For this match, Lakeland will be wearing a black jersey. DME Academy will be wearing the white one. So they are the ones on the left. And we welcome every single one of you to this match, to this broadcast that we are streaming live on Lakeland's United YouTube channel. And before the match can start, of course, you have to know the name of the players that are going into the field, the lineups of both Lakeland United and DME Academy. For this second friendly match, the coach, Eric Leite, the coach of Lakeland, has decided to put as the goalkeeper number 60, Vicente Sanchez, number 33, Guga Lucena, 44, Jinso Palarcón, 55, Hudson Argolo, number 13, Felipe Tachard, number 18, Joao Indio, 49, Gustavo Oliveira, number 5, Iago Tomás, number 8, Tiago Goes, number 10, the captain, of course, Eduardo Melo, and number 19, the player who scored on the last match of the UPSL for Lakeland, Rui Sasakura, the Japanese wing. That's the lineup of Lakeland for this friendly match, but you also have to know the team of DME Academy. The goalkeeper will be number 30, Jose Pedro, number 4, Jonas McGee, number 21, Chi Wikem, number 5, Josep Adade. 15, Eldian Bursic, number 8, Pachin Kwaku, number 10, Blair Dorman, number 12, Danny Villaplana, 7 for Guilherme Martins, number 17 for Charles Dodsey, and number 9 for the striker, Mamadou Vilodiop. That's the lineup for the ME Academy Soccer. Those are the lineups, those are the teams. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Are you excited? For this game between the Swans and DME Academy. I hope you are. We'll get to see a great display of soccer. And we'll get to see the likelihoods of a lot of players who may have not had the best situations. Or a lot of chances so far with the Swans. That's the, that's the case, for example, of Jinson Palarcón or Felipe Tachard. Those were players that so far have not had a really huge place in the team. Meanwhile, of course, you do have the likelihood of Luguga Lucena, Hudson Argolo, Joao Indio, of course, Gustavo Oliveira, Thiago Goes, and Eduardo Melo, players that are currently in the starting lineup of Lakeland. So this might be their chance to show what they got. That was the finish of the pep talk on the left for the ME Academy, getting ready for the match. The officials are waiting for the team wearing white to start the game. Remember, if you're a Lakeland United fan, you know that the Swans had just beaten Florida Tropics 3-0, thanks to two goals of Fran Osorio and one amazing goal from 
Paolo Gato. Those players are on the substitute bench waiting for the time as well. And as soon as the captains are ready, seems like DME Academy is going to go, yeah, for the goal on the right side. The Swans will be taking the kickoff as soon as both teams change sides. So, feel free, as we wait for the start of the match, to leave your comment on Legolas United YouTube channel. Leave your support for your favorite player, for your friend, for your loved one, as we wait for the game to start. Meanwhile, let me tell you that it seems like Lakeland will be using a 4-3-3 formation. Guga Lucena, Alarcón, Argolo and Tachard as defenders. Indio Oliveira and Diego Tomás as midfielders. Thiago Goes, Eduardo Melo and Ruiz Asakura as the strikers. This for me seems a little bit odd since Eduardo Melo isn't usual a striker but a midfielder. I do have to admit that he has played in a lot of positions. And... DME Academy also plays today with a 4-3-3. It will be Jonas McGee, Chiwikem, Josep Adade, and Eldian Bursic. In defense, Joachim Kwaku, Blair Dorman, and Danny Vichaplana as midfielders, the strikers, Guilherme Martins, Charles Dotsi, and Mamadou Bilodiop. We got our first comment from Pedro Carvalho, Felipe Tachar, Amadeira Bayana. And Eduardo Melo, the captain of the Swans, will take care of the kickoff as soon as the ref allows him to do it. We're ready to start this friendly match. We're ready to go between Legland and DME Academy. The ref checking with his assistants. Now with the goalkeeper Sanchez and Jose Pedro. Everything's in order, man. Can we start? Can we go? He blows his whistle and the friendly match is on. Lakeland United against DME Academy Soccer. The very first ball of the match goes for Lakeland. Let's see what they have in store for us. The pressure by Charles Dotsy. The ball goes towards the left side. Here comes Lakeland from the left side. All the way towards the center now. It's a good control by Alarcón. Alarcón playing alongside number 23, Google Lucena, back to Alarcón. As always, feel free to leave your comment, feel free to do whatever you like. This is the house of Lakeland United, but we support every single fan. The pass by Argolo going forward, the recovery by Thiago Goes, the pressure by DME Academy, here they come with Charles Dotsi. Charles trying to do a cross, a good Intervention there by Hudson Argolo just standing by and blocking the cross. It's a corner kick in the first minute of the match for the EME Academy. Here they go, looking for a header, looking for the opportunity that gives them the advantage. We had some rain here at Haines City, but look at the sun, look at the sunset. It's a beautiful day to be playing football. Here comes the cross, the header by Alarcón. Be careful with the rebound. Here goes the shot, Sanchez. This is Sanchez, the goalkeeper. It was a tricky shot for the goalkeeper. A good call, definitely, by the goalie. And now Alarcón in possession of the ball. This match, this broadcast, is possible thanks to the production of Better Media, the direction of Lautaro Bernadette, and the assistance of Jorge Gentile, without them, and without all of you wonderful people, this broadcast wouldn't be possible. Here comes Iago Tomás, number five. Back to Alarcón. Iago Tomás against Mamadou Bilo Diop. Decides to go with Hudson Argolo. Felipe Tachard on the left. Felipe with the control. He couldn't go forward. The clearance, Eduardo Melo fights for the ball. Good recovery there by Lakeland, but still good pressure by Thiago Goes. He fights for the ball, he lost it. And after that, the pressure by Gustavo Oliveira wasn't enough to keep the ball inside for Lakeland. It's a throw in for DME Academy. Here was the shot. Let's watch it again. This opportunity. It was a good one because there were so many people, it was so crowded in the box. 
That it was a tough call for Sanchez. This will be a new ball, a new possession for DME. There it goes, the throwing. And a good pass towards the center. Blair Dorman with the pass towards the left. Mamadou below the up. Mamadou trying to go forward. Good intervening. And a great pass for Sasakura. Finally, helping the ball go out. Burusic and now Uga Lucena asks for a new ball since he has none laying around. Some people arguing with the cameraman. He's doing his best. It was a difficult day for him. And it was a, a pretty difficult day for us as well. There goes the long pass by Hudson Argolo. It's a good ball, a good opportunity here for Lakeland. On the left. Pass towards Eduardo Melo. Eduardo with the shot of target. He tried to surprise everyone with that opportunity. He clearly surprised us. It was off target. Once again, good opportunity. Four minutes so far, no goals. Goal kick for Jose Pedro. Goal kick for DME Academy. So here comes McGee. The pressure by Melo. Thiago Goes trying to recover. Good pressure. Goes, Melo. Melo tried to play back. DME Academy recovered it. And here they come. Gustavo Oliveira. Intervening once again, voiding the advance of DME. There goes the throw-in. Joao Indio looking for somebody, anybody on the right side. The assistant ref is raising his hand as if there was a offside position at the start of the play. There he goes. Diego Tomas. Number 18, Joao Indio. Back to Alarcón. Joao to the wars the center. Diego Tomas. Towards Hudson Argolo. Hudson. He takes his time. He plays back to Alarcón. Iago Tomas near, but he decides to go forward with Lucena. They ask for a humble. The ref lets the game continue. Ruiz Sasakura on the right. He could do a cross. There goes the ball. Melo! No! The rebound! Oh, so close. Two situations for Lakeland. So close and yet so far to scoring. And now DME Academy tries to do a counterattack. Recovery by Lakeland. Here they go. They're passed by Felipe Tachar towards the left side. Thiago Goes. Thiago goes in short with Iago Tomas. And now Iago plays back. Hudson Argolo. Good pass towards Thiago Goes. Number eight. He tries to find an opening. He plays back to Gustavo Oliveira. Gustavo Oliveira with Joao Indio. Number 18. The shot from Joao. He struck Gustavo Oliveira. His own teammate. It shall be an easy catch for Jose Pedro, the goalkeeper. Here comes DME after a difficult opportunity for them, a difficult chance. The pass, and now the long pass looking for Mamadou outside of the field. And of course, Mamadou tries to congratulate his teammate, but it was a really bad pass. Once again, the opportunity, the cross by Ruiz Sasakura, Eduardo Melo was not able to send the ball flying towards the goal. And after that, his teammate, Gustavo Oliveira, wasn't able to struck goal. Once again, the pressure, Jose Pedro with the clearance. Seven minutes, still no goals, but an interesting match so far. Mamadou fighting for the ball. But first of all, Joao Indio. Hudson Aregolo. Hudson towards the left. Here comes Lakeland. DME with the recovery. Legland stepping down, sending the ball out. So far, I believed Legland is playing better than DME, but they are lacking 
on the goals. It's a good one for Mamadou. Vincent Sanchez, the goalkeeper, the Spanish goalkeeper, with an easy catch. Alarcón. Eight minutes of the first half. Still Legland and DME tying without goals. Felipe Tachar playing back with Hudson Argolo. Hudson going with his center back, his teammate, Alarcón. Joao Indio. Iago Tomás gets closer, but they decide to go with Felipe first. Back to Hudson. Aragolo, be careful, Hudson. That's a foul against him. A free kick for Legland. Legland United is getting ready to continue their participation in the United Premier Soccer League. The current champions of the Florida West Conference are trying to defend their crown. Last week, they played and they lost against Florida Premier. So, in between matches, because their next match in the UPSL is going to be next Saturday against Intercity, they decided to play two friendlies. One against Florida Tropics, that ended just before the start of this match, and this game between DME Academy Soccer. Good passes between... Dani Bisha Palma, the pressure and the recovery by Legland. Edu Melu fighting. Thiago Go is insisting. And thanks to Eduardo Melo, DME has not been able to come out of their own side of the field. Let's see what they can do now. There goes the ball. Gustavo Oliveira fighting for it. The pass from Joao Indio to Ruiz Sakura. That should be a foul. The ref lets the game continue. Thiago Tomás. Here comes Felipe. With Thiago Goes. The ref should have gone back to the play. Ruiz Sakura still on the ground after that foul. Let's watch it again. It was a foul. And let me tell you, it was even a yellow card. It should have been a yellow card. Ruiz Sakura in a lot of pain. The Japanese winger. Not sure if he's going to be able to continue. Eduardo Melo talking with his coach. The medical staff making their way in, trying to help the Japanese player. Once again, the play that left Rui injured. The foul by Joseph Adade. And the game, the match won't continue as long as Rui is down on the ground. Eleven minutes, and for the first time, the match takes a break. And as we wait for the game, for the match to continue, like we always tell you, feel free to leave your comment. Tell us from which part of the war are you following Lakeland against DME Academy? Which player is your favorite? Who are you supporting? So far. The best of the match has been this single shot from DME Academy. The good save by Vincent Sanchez. And after that, a great pass from Guga Lucena towards Rui Sasakura, the player who is down on the ground. The cross from Rui. Eduardo Melo, who was not able to touch the ball. And after that, the unfortunate event that didn't let the striker score. Seems like the game is about to continue. The ref is going to let a drop ball resume the game. And here it goes. Gustavo Oliveira. Casi Ekenrode saying, go DME. 
supporters for the team today wearing blue shorts and a white jersey. Joao Indio towards Thiago Goes. Thiago Goes looking for Ruiz Asakura. The clearance. And there goes Dani Villa Palma. Thiago Goes insisting, fighting for the ball and giving DME a throw in. Thiago Goes and Eduardo Melo fighting for the ball. There goes the pressure. Be careful here, recovery. Lakeland for the goal. There goes Diego Tomas to Melo. Melo back to Gustavo Oliveira. It's a good tackle. No, the ref gives a foul. I was sure it was a clean tackle. But the ref didn't hesitate. Not even a single bit. It's a penalty kick then for Lakeland. Let's watch it again. The mistake by Jose Pedro. Diego Tomas to Eduardo Melo. Melo with an amazing first pass towards Gustavo Oliveira. And now that I see it again, I actually buy it. It is indeed a penalty kick for Legland. As we get near to the 14 minute of the game. And the player who received the foul is the one who's in charge of the penalty kick. Number 49, Gustavo Oliveira. Jose Pedro struggling to properly see the striker as he has the sun in front of him. The ref blows his whistle. Legland for the lead. Gustavo Oliveira. It's in, ladies and gentlemen. There it goes. The first goal of the match goes to Lakeland United. Lakeland wins the game 1-0 against DME Academy. All thanks to first this foul against Gustavo Oliveira. And after that, the penalty kick that the number 49 took. Legland is winning 1-0. Pedro Carvalho saying Felipe Tachard on the ball. Laura Tornelli saying, go DME, you got this. The match has just started. And DME is playing a good game. They just had one mistake and unfortunately for them, it meant a penalty kick and a goal for the Swans. Let's see now. The pass from Dorman towards number nine. Vilo Diop, Mamadou from left to right. Thiago Goes tried to recover it, but still, that is a foul from Thiago. It is a free kick for DME. Gustavo Oliveira, number 49, is giving Legland the victory so far. Joseph Adade with Bersic back to Adade. DME with a long pass here, the header stopping the attack. Ruiz Sasakura fighting for the ball. Mamadou was the last player who touched the ball and it got out. It's a throw in for Legland. Thanks so much to all of you wonderful people following the match, following Legland, following DME, following your loved ones, your family, your friends. And here comes Legland. Vincent Sanchez. Alarcón. In short with Iago Tomás. The pressure by Dorman. Thiago Tomas with the dribbling and now the pass towards the left. Going forward with Gustavo Oliveira. What a great pass from Gustavo. What a great association. Gustavo going forward. It's a difficult ball. And it got out. Oh, Felipe. Felipe Tachard almost went down. It's a goal kick for Jose Pedro and for DME. Remember to leave your like to help the channel grow. And if you want, you can leave your comments supporting your team, your favorite player, whoever you like. Jose Pedro. Jose back to his teammate. It's going to be a long pass towards the midfield. The recovery by Joao Indio. He struggles a little bit. And it's going to be a clearance by Hudson Argolo. Not a full one. Alarcón with the header. Thiago Goes with the control. Look at Thiago Goes. A little bit cheeky. Because he lost it. And now, number five, Joseph Adede. Number eight, Joaquim Kwaku. Towards the right side. DME in possession of the ball. Kwaku with a long pass. It's a good opportunity. Sanchez with a header. Be careful. The ball's still near. And there goes Charles Dotsi. The header by Alarcón. Mamadou Bilodiop. And finally, Guga Lucena. It was an interesting play 
Vicen Sanchez, the goalkeeper of Lakeland, had to come out. He couldn't grab the ball, so he headbutted it. And Charles Dotsy was quick enough to shoot. And Alarcón was smart enough to head the ball out of the dangerous zone. It's a throw-in, and there it goes. Good control by Charles Dotsy. Yago Mamadou Diop with the rebound. Guga Lucena. And Guga send it out of the field. At least to catch some air. There goes the throw-in. Bisha Palma. Bisha Plana. And finally, the clearance. Good control. Back to number five. Joseph Adede. And here comes Kwaku with the pass to Bisha Plana. Now back to the defender. Chiwikem. Magui. Kwaku. Gustavo Oliveira and Melo. Eduardo with Diago Tomás. Diego Tomás playing back to Joao Indio. And now Hudson Argolo, the defender. Alarcón. Jeans up looking for a teammate. He, back. he goes back. To Argolo. 19 minutes of the first half. Gustavo Oliveira was the player who scored with a penalty kick. And is giving Legland the victory. Joao Indio. They're recovered by DME, and here they come at full speed. Good pass looking for Mamadou. Below the up with the dribbling. He is stopped by Guga Lucena and by Iago Tomas. Joao Indio. Indio looking for somebody on the left. Here goes Thiago Goes. Iago Tomas. Iago decides to go forward. He has three players. He makes an amazing pass. And here goes Joao Indio. Jose Pedro. Be careful with the rebound. Finally, the clearance. But Iago Tomas. Eduardo Melo. It's going to be a ball for DME. What an amazing save by the defense of the Daytona Beach Academy. Joao Indio almost scored the second goal of the match. Look at Jose Pedro and look at the defender. Look at number 21, Chiwikam, helping out DME, stayed down by just one goal. 20 minutes, 25 more to go. There goes Bisha Plana. Danny looking for somebody on the left side. Good control by number 15, Bersic. Long pass from Bersic. It's a good one. Charles Dutzi with the control. Alarcón trying to stop Dotsy. He's still inside of the field. And it's a ball for DME, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a throw-in. And by the looks of it, it's going to be a long one. Looking for the box. They, they instead played in a short. Good work by the defense. A foul. An offensive foul. From Mamadou Bilodiop, says the ref. It's a free kick for Legland then. Alarcón already played the ball in short. And now Joao Indio with Hudson Argolo. Hudson could play with Gustavo Oliveira. He decides to play back to the goalkeeper, Sanchez. Vincent Sanchez. Now Alarcón. Joao Indio back to Hudson. And now Hudson... Back to Joao Indio. 21 minutes, 33 seconds. Thiago Goes playing back with Sanchez. Vicente. With Alarcón, Alarcón with Diago Tomás. Back to Alarcón. The pressure by DME. It's a good one. It's not allowing Lakeland to advance in the field. Right now, Joao Indio with Hudson Argolo. Hudson doing a long pass. Let's see. The recovery. By number five, Jose Padade. Here comes Kwaku. Kwaku going long. And Mamadou below the office inside of the box. Mamadou with the dribbling. With the pass. It could be Novi Sanchez. Offside position also. I do wonder from who. Because right there. In the last pass to Charles Dotsy. That was the offside position and a free kick then for Lakeland. Alarcón playing with Hudson Argolo. Felipe Tachar playing back with Hudson. It's a clearance looking for Gustavo Oliveira. Gustavo, he failed to control it. 
but also the player from DME couldn't control it. So, Joao in your playback to Sanchez. Alarcón. 23 minutes. We're right at the middle of the first half. We're halfway there until the end of the first half. Alarcón with Diego Tomás. Diego Tomás back to Hudson Argolo. Hudson is going to play in short. Now he decides to go long. Good pass to Felipe. Felipe trying to go to the center. The recovery by Kwaku. And it's a ball for Legland. Coach Leite claps because of the performance of his team. The way they pressure. The way they don't let DME have the upper hand. Alarcón. Alarcón keeps going forward. He decides to go for a long pass. Mamadou below the up with the recovery. Number nine. Back to Kwaku. Now to number 15. There goes Bursic. Below the up. Mamadou to Dani Vishaplana. Dani Vishaplana looking for somebody on the right side. It's a good pass. It's a good control by McGee. McGee with the dribbling and... Thiago Goes with the recovery. The clearance, Eduardo Melo. Melo with the control back to Joao Indio. Indio with a long pass. And an amazing recovery by DME. There goes Adade with Chiwikem. Looking for Bersic. Bersic with the pass to Mamadoubi Lodiop. Number nine with the dribbling. Guga, Lucena trying to recover. Finally, back to Adade and Adade playing forward. There goes Dorman. McGee. Long ball, the header, the recovery. But before all that, offside position from DME. They already played it. 25 minutes, 20 more to go. Hudson Arigolo. Arigolo. With Alarcón, Alarcón with Indio. Joao Indio with the pass towards the left side. That is, that was a foul, but the ref now stops the game and gives the foul to DME. It's an interesting game so far. Although Lakeland is winning by just one goal, DME is not that far behind from them. In fact, you could even argue that they deserve one goal, that they deserve to reach the equalizer. Miguel Pierre Luis official sending a lot of love in the YouTube chat of Legland's YouTube channel. And there goes the long pass towards Vicent Sanchez, the goalkeeper of Legland. This is a good way for Legland to stay fit, to stay in shape. After their defeat against Florida Premier, the least thing the way the least thing that they want, the thing that they least want right now, is to lose rhythm. And so, between that match and the one against Intercity next Saturday, having two friendly matches is a good way to stay in shape. Bursic with the recovery, the recovery now by Eduardo Melo, the captain of the Swans, playing back to number five, Diego Tomas. Indio back to Iago. Joao Indio. Now back to Hudson Argolo. All of the players of Lakeland are attacking. Alarcón. Melo back to Alarcón. Iago Tomás. And now back to Alarcón. Hudson Argolo. Hudson opening towards the left side. That time the ball left the field, so it's a throw in for DME. 27 minutes, and here comes DME on the left side with who? With Bursic. Bursic with a long pass. There's no one there, but be careful, there might be. Good recovery. Here comes that's a foul against DME player. Yeah, and a yellow card. Of course, nothing to argue there. Yellow card for number 13, Felipe Tachard. After that foul, 
It was a great pass from Bersic looking for any teammate right there. And because of the efforts of DME, they managed to win a free kick. Let's see. From that position, it's a bit tricky. It's going to be across the header by Melo. Be careful, the rebound, the recovery. And there, Joao Indio with the clearance. There goes Kwaku. McGee. Dorman, they lost the ball because of a foul. It's a free kick for DME yet again. Seems like Bersic wants to take care of it. He already put the ball in his place and it's waiting for the confirmation of the referee. He's waiting for the whistle. Bersic raises both of his hands. Seems like do they have something prepared? There goes the ball from Bersic. It's going to be a goal kick. 29 minutes of the first half. Lakeland United is winning this friendly match against DME Academy Soccer thanks to that penalty kick from Gustavo Oliveira. But still, DME are playing a wonderful game so far. And I would expect more from them. Just like the fans at home are doing. The pass from Alarcón to Iago Tomás. Iago Tomás going forward. Good dribbling by Iago. He takes his time now. He waits. And plays in short with Indio. Joao Indio with Alarcón. Alarcón with Guga Lucena. Lucena forward to Iago Tomás. Iago Tomás tried to reach for Melo. Good intentions, poor executions. And now Chiwikem, number 21. Right now, Dani Bishaplana. Long pass from Dani. It's a good one. Offside position once again. So far, that's the main problem from DME in the game. Too many offside positions that cut great situations, great opportunities for them. Well, Alarcón, Guga Lucena, Mamadou Villodiop, and Charlie Dotsi close to recover. Alarcón back to Sanchez. 30 minutes. Thanks so much to all of you wonderful people watching the game from your workplace, from your home, cheering for Legland, for DME, for your loved ones and your friends. What an amazing pass from Thiago Goes to Iago Tomás. Tiago back to Tiago. Tiago back to Tiago. Tiago Tomás with Alarcón. Alarcón looking for somebody on the left side, looking for Felipe Tachar. Good effort by number 13. The ball got out and it's a throw in for Diemi. And of course, if you want, there's no pressure. You can leave your comment, you can leave your support. We will read your message live here. And if you can, leave your like because it helps the channel grow. Eduardo Melo back to Iago Tomás. Iago Tomás with Joao Indio. And now Indio tries to play with Felipe Tachar on left. It's going to be a new throwing for DME. McGee ready to do it. There goes the ball. The recovery by Eduardo Melo. The pass to Iago Tomás. That's a foul. The ref says that it wasn't a foul. A clean recovery. And so, Dorman played towards the right side. Throw in for DME. 32 minutes. 13 more to go in this first half. And there goes McGee with Chiwikum. Number 21 with number 5, Joseph Adade. Adade with Bersic back to Adade. The pressure by Melo, the pressure by Iago Tomás, Ruiz Sasakura. Thiago Goes is also there. Adade with Bersic. Here comes Mamadou below the up at full speed, surpassing Guga Lucena. Mamadou goes forward. He is stopped without a foul. But be careful because Mamadou looks like has been injured in the process. And now the game is stopped 
Let's watch the game again. I believe that was a foul from Alarcón. Because Ginsup went straight towards Mamadou. He didn't try to recover the ball. He just tried to stop the attacker. Still, it's good to see Mamadou is back on his feet. And the game continues. Hudson Argolo in short. Joao Indio back to Sanchez. No, Hudson Argolo first. Argolo lost it. It's... What? The ball got out. Despite the best efforts from Charles Dotsi. It's a goal kick then. A goal kick for Vincent Sanchez and for all of Legland. 33 minutes, almost 34. Sanchez playing with Alarcón. Alarcón playing with Argolo. Hudson back to the goalkeeper. Back to Sanchez. Alarcón. Alarcón lost it. There's no foul there. The ref says that there was a foul. Yeah, from Charles Dotsey. Let's watch it again. I mean, if that's a foul, then the previous one from Alarcón was also a foul. The plays were kind of similar. You could argue one's from behind and the other one's from the side. But the way both players put their body into motion, it's quite similar. In the end, Alarcón. Iago Tomás back to Alarcón. Going forward. And finally... She weekend with the recovery. And once again, Eduardo Melo helping out. The captain of the Swans. Going to the left. Felipe Tachat. Melo. Thiago Goes. Thiago going with Alarcón. Alarcón with number five, Iago Tomás. And now to number 55, Hudson Argolo. Hudson in short. Iago Tomás. Alarcón, and Alarcón lost the ball. Good recovery by Mamadou Bilodiop. He's all alone, so he has to play back. Persic with Mamadou. The ball got out, and the ref gives Legland a throw-in. No, wait. My bad, ladies and gentlemen. The ref actually gave DME a free kick. Bursic in charge of this free kick. Ready to send the ball flying towards the box of Sanchez, ready to look for a header. There goes the ball, the rebound. It's a good opportunity for DME. They have to shoot, but they lost it. Gustavo Oliveira. Oliveira looks for a teammate. He plays in short with Iago Tomas. And now towards number 22. And now Iago Tomas lost it. Here comes number 8, Kwaku. Long pass towards the right. It's a really long one. And it got out. It ends in a goal kick for Sanchez. Diane Cuero says greetings from Lima, Peru. Let's go, Legland. So far, the first fan from Peru for Legland. Rafael Fontenelle, he lost it against Cuacu. Kwaku playing towards Charles. And Kwaku went down. It's a good recovery by Legland, though. Lucena back to Sanchez. Sanchez with the clearance. And right there. The recovery by Gustavo Oliveira. Gustavo tried to play with Diego Tomas. Finally, DME got it back. Kwaku. Bersic. 
Back to Kwaku now. Bishop Lana. Dani. Dani with the pass. Aragolo with the header. And the recovery in the midfield by number 10. Dorman. Chibuikem. Dorman. Guilherme Martins with the pass. Looking for Mamadou. Mamadou with the control. He could play with Bersic. He tries to go to the center. The clearance. The recovery by Iago Tomas. Tiago Goes. In short, with Iago Tomas. Back to Alarcón. And now Alarcón looking for Hudson Argolo. Tiago Goes towards the center. Back to Alarcón. 38 minutes. Iago Tomas. Iago Tomas. He waits a little bit. Now he plays. With Alarcón. Alarcón trying to reach. Number 23. Google Lucena, finally, Rafael Fontenelle, Iago Tomás, Eduardo Melo. Melo in short with Gustavo Oliveira, the player who scored the only goal of the match. Here comes number eight, Thiago Goes. Goes with the pass. He tried to reach for Rui Sasakura. Finally, it's a throw in for Legland. Thiago Goes. Good dribbling skills by Thiago. He needs to play back. Alarcón with the control. Last six minutes. Good passes here. And Guga Lucena with the opportunity towards the center. An amazing tackle by Adede. Iago Tomás with the shot. It got blocked once again. Iago Tomás is able to recover the ball. An offside position marks the assistant referee. And a free kick for DME Academy Soccer. We are five minutes away from the halftime. Legland United winning this friendly match. And once again, thanks so much to all of you wonderful people watching the game, following the match from wherever you are. We already know that Cueto is listening, is watching the match from Lima, Peru. And right now, the game continues with Joachim Kwaku towards the right. Magi playing back to Chiwikam, now looking for number five, Joseph Adade. And on the left, all the Ambersich awaits, but finally Kwaku receives the ball. Dorman back to Kwaku. All of Legland defending themselves from this attack. Magui back to Dorman. Dorman looking for Adade on the center of the field. Adade opening the ball to Bursic. Bursic with the control. The cross and the header by Guga Lucena. Be careful. Good recovery there by Dorman. Gustavo Oliveira with the pass to Thiago Goes. Thiago Goes with the dribbling skills and the pass back to Hudson Argolo. Tachard back to Hudson. Hudson with Melo, Eduardo with the dribbling, with the pass, and Thiago Goes with Gustavo Oliveira. Oliveira missed the pass. The pressure by Gustavo, and that it's a ball for DME. Cuacu lost it to Thiago Goes. Felipe back to Hudson Argolo. Argolo with Eduardo Melo. Eduardo. Plays in short with number five, Diego Tomás. Hudson Argolo with Melo. Eduardo trying to help out his team. Alarcón with Melo. Melo with Alarcón. Alarcón with Argolo. Three minutes left. Good pass going forward to Thiago Goes. Thiago on a tough spot. He passed to Gustavo Oliveira. Tachard. Thiago Goes is not going to reach the ball. Magui. He's gonna do it. He plays back to Jose Pedro. The pressure by Ruiz Sasakura. Rafael Fontenelle also helping out. Mamadou Bilodiop wasn't able to reach for the ball. It's a recovery by Legland. There goes the pass by Guga Lucena back. Melo with Gustavo Oliveira. Oliveira back to Eduardo, the captain of the Swans, the leader of the flock. Passing with Diago Tomas. 
Iago with the pass to Rafael Fontenelle. Rafael with the pass to Ruiz Asakura, who is clearly on an offside position. It's a free kick for the Emi. And so the game is going to continue like this. Good opportunities for both. Legland and DME playing at the very limit. Legland so far is winning just by one goal. Thanks for a penalty. Throw in. McGee is going to do it. There goes the ball. Good control by Charles Dotsi. And now back to Kwaku. Kwaku with a good pass. Great intentions, but Vicent Sanchez, the Spanish goalkeeper, came out and grabbed the ball. Alarcón back to Sanchez. Sanchez tried to play with Guga Lucena. The ball got out. Eli Sandra Argolo saying, let's go Legland. Aside from cheering for Legland, of course, cheering for Hudson Argolo, number 55. I would believe, I would assume. Kwaku, last minute of the first half. Thiago Goes with the recovery, well, at least with the clearance. Throwing for the ME. Dorman. Dorman with the pass towards Bishop Plana. Charles Dodsey couldn't go forward. That's a foul from Thiago Goes. This looked like number seven, Guillermo Martins, was arguing with the assistant referee. He keeps arguing with him. It's a throw in for Legland. 30 seconds. The ref actually gave Legland the foul there. Sanchez back to Argolo. Hudson with the control and then the clearance going forward, of course. We are at the end of the first half. You don't want any trouble at this point. Well, the ref blows his whistle and the first half of this friendly match between Legland and DME Academy Soccer has finished. The Swans are winning just by one goal, just by one penalty kick scored by Gustavo Oliveira, number 49. We are going to go on a little commercial break, on a little pause, but we'll leave you with the highlights of the first half with the only goal of the match so far. And we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. So please don't go away. Stay tuned because we're going to show you, we're going to tell you the second half of this friendly match between Legland United and DME Academy Soccer. We'll be right back.
Well, 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 come back, ladies and gentlemen. We are still here at Fultrim Sports Complex to show you the highlights of the first half. At the start of the match, this good shot from number 15. We're, of course, talking about Eldian Bersic. Then, Lakeland answered to that opportunity with this cross from Ruiz Osakura. Neither Eduardo Melo or his teammates were able to score. But after that, this mistake by Jose Pedro, the goalkeeper, the pass from Diego Tomás to Melo, Melo with Gustavo Oliveira, and the foul from Jose Padade that gave this penalty kick to Gustavo Oliveira, who scored and put the only goal of the match so far. That was the best of the first half between Legland United and DME Academy Soccer. We're ready to continue as Charles Dotsy is ready to kick off us into the second half, as he argued with the main ref also we have some players from lakeland right there on the right side of the field who are just finished up talking and we are about to continue we're about to go in the second half in this friendly match between lakeland and dme academy soccer who do you think is gonna win the match is it gonna end in a tie well we're about to know as soon as the ref blows his whistle and puts us into motion. So get ready, get comfy, grab something to eat, grab something to drink, because Lakeland and DME are gonna put on a show. The ref checks with his assistants, checks with the goalkeepers and blows his whistle. Dotsy already played with Kwaku. And we are on, ladies and gentlemen. Lakeland United and DME Academy Soccer are going to decide which one of these teams is going to win today. Good recovery right there on the left side by Bersic, who plays with Mamadou Bilodiop. Pressure by Gustavo Oliveira. That is a foul. And a free kick for Lakeland right at the start of the second half. TMB25 says Fontenelle is playing a lot today. Number 22. Here comes Argolo back to Sanchez. Alarcón. Alarcón plays in short with Melo. Is it Melo? No, it's number 18. My bad, Joao Indio. Back to Argolo Hudson with a long pass. There's no one there. It's gonna be a throw-in for DME as soon as somebody gets them the ball back. There it goes. Magui. Recovery by Legland. There it goes. Eduardo Melo. Melo back to Alarcón. Alarcón with Indio. And Joao with a long pass. Let's see if Ruiz Sakura managed to get it. Finally, a throw-in that Guga Lucena is about to do. Guga plays with Iago Tomas. Iago Tomas backwards to Alarcón. Alarcón with Joao Indio. Indio plays to the left. Here comes number 13, Felipe Tachard with the cross. The header by number 5, Jose Badade. And now Joao Indio once again. In short with Iago Tomas, Gustavo Oliveira. Oliveira tries to go forward. Thiago Goes with the pass and the clearance by Chip Wickham. It's a throw-in for Lakeland. It's an interesting beginning to the second half. Good pressure, good intensity, good rhythm. Felipe Tachar with the throw-in. Thiago Goes, the pass. It's still inside of the field. There goes the cross. Ruiz Sasakura misses the ball. But the game continues. Lucena, good tackle right there by Barsic. Yago Goes, and now Joao Indio. Indio looking for somebody on the left. Good. Pass to Felipe Tachard. Back to Thiago Goes. Thiago towards the center with Yago Tomas. Back to the left side, and a good tackle by Jonas Magui. And a throw in for Lakeland. The Swans have started this second half with a lot of intentions, with a lot of build up. So far, no goals, but still, it's interesting to see how this is going to play out. 
three minutes of the second half, and there goes the pass to Gustavo Oliveira, and now to Joao Indio. The pressure by Charles Dulce, by Joao continues. A previous foul against Joao Indio by Charles Dulce. The ref explains to him the foul, and Iago Tomas is about to do the free kick. The push from behind. And here comes the free kick. From that position, it looks like Yago Tomas is going to send the ball flying. No, he plays in short with Gustavo Oliveira, the player who scored the only goal of the match so far. Indio with Alarcón. Alarcón back to Hudson Argolo. And now Hudson decides to go forward. Felipe Tachar towards the center. Melo! Close. Really close, but not close enough. Eduardo Melo thanks Felipe Tachar for the pass. It's a goal kick for DME Academy Soccer. Let's watch it again. It's an amazing pass and a great intention by Eduardo Melo. Close, like we said, but not close enough. The pressure by Legland pays out, but DME recovers it. That's a foul for them. Yep, good call by the ref right there. As we approach the fifth minute of the second half, DME already played the free kick. Here comes Blair Dorman with Jonas McGee. McGee tried to pass forward, but the recovery by Tachar, the dribbling by Iago Tomas. And here comes Lakeland looking for Rui Sasakura, the Japanese winger. He's inside of the box. He shoots so close, ladies and gentlemen. Lakeland almost scored the second goal of the match. Let's watch it again because there's no waste in here. The passion which Ruiz Sakura went forward, tried to score, but the save by Jose Pedro was enough to give DME another chance. Here's the corner kick for Legland. Melo with the cross, the header by Joseph Adade. It's a throw in then. For the Swans. Legland. Waiting to do the throwing. It's going to be Google Lucena, the player who's about to do it. There he goes. The pass forward to Iago Tomas. Guga wins another throw in. Victor Pepe saying, Felipe Tachard, I love you. The pass looking exactly for number 13. Magui with the recovery. Felipe Tachard now with Thiago Goes. Thiago with the dribbling, with the pass looking for Felipe Tachard. Tachard is able to grab the ball and it's going to be a throw in for. It's going to be an offside position from Felipe Tachard. Thanks so much to all of you. Watching the match, leaving us your messages. If you can, please leave a like. It really helps the channel to grow. Here comes Legland once again with Hudson Argolo. Argolo going forward with Gustavo Oliveira back to Hudson. Hudson lost it. It's a good recovery. In there goes. It's in. DME Academy Soccer reaches the equalizer. What an amazing pressure and what a finishing touch. DME reaches the equalizer after that mistake from Hudson Argolo, that poor control and that amazing shot by Charles Dotsy, number 17. DME Academy Soccer reaches the equalizer. And we are back to square one. Be careful. They shoot from the midfield. And it's over the bar. Legland United tried to surprise DME. Jose Pedro was a little bit off his own goal. They got lucky this time. But it's going to be a really great second half. By this good goal by Charles Dotsy. 
Let's wait and see because here comes once again DME looking for the victory. Right there going to the ground with the tackle Guga Lucena. Helping Lakeland to regroup. Amazing goal. Keep it up DME says Cassie Eckenrode. There goes the throw in the header by Joao Indio. Rui Sasakura, that's a foul. And it's going to be a yellow card. Let's wait and see. This is the foul right there from number 15, Eldian Bursic. The ref says that he didn't give the order to continue. So, of course, the free kick has to be done again. And for the third time, the throwing. Oh, and now a yellow card for Alarcón. Well, Reese, right now, could be the worst moment for Legland in the match. Thanks to the equalizer of DME, the nerves, the pressure. Alarcón with Joao Indio, now Joao with Hudson Argolo. Long pass from Hudson. Taking beer with my bros and watching Felipe Tachar number 13 playing. You're amazing, bros, says Pedro Carvalho. There's no foul, the game continues. Felipe Tachar, Santiago Goes winning a throw in for Lakeland. And Felipe is going to wait. There he goes, the pass to Gustavo Oliveira, back to Felipe. The ball still inside of the field. And there goes the pass by Kwaku, the recovery. And now the long pass looking for Rui Sasakura, the Japanese winger going at full speed. Still inside of the field, the ball still goes. There goes the cross by Rui, the overhead kick. Eduardo Melo on the ground. He can't believe the situation that he just had. What a great opportunity that Rui Sasakura made for Legland. Let's watch it again. The cross by Rui, the overhead kick by Eduardo was great. He couldn't give the ball the direction he wanted still. Kudos to Sasakura and Melo. Goes fighting for the ball. All the way towards the left side with Adade. Now with Bursic. Long pass, the recovery by Alarcón. And now Oliveira looking for Thiago Goes. Tachar wasn't able to recover it thanks to Mamadou Bilodiop. And the ref gives a foul to DME right there. Once again, the balls are missing. And now we can continue with Chi Wickham. There goes the pass towards the center. The recovery by Legland. Amazing passes right here. Gustavo Oliveira is alone. There's nobody. And a great recovery by DME. What can I tell you? Kwaku. McGee, McGee going forward, Dotsy, Dotsy back to McGee, what amazing play by DME, but Charles, but Jonas, he isn't able to control it and make a cross, still, amazing efforts by Kwaku, by Charles Dotsy and by McGee, the goal once again, by Charles, the pressure, the recovery, and look at the shot, amazing, Sanchez playing in short with Alarcón. Still a long way ahead of us. Legland and DME Academy Soccer tying 1-1. Rui Sasakura. Let's see what Rui can do. He can win it. That's why DME recovered it. Clean recovery there in the midfield. Here comes Thiago Goes. Thiago looking for a teammate. He decides to go to the right side. Joao Indio. 
on the left, Felipe Tachard. Good dribbling by Felipe. The pass to Thiago Goes. They look for Felipe once again. He fights for the ball. The header by Chiwikan. And now, once again, Felipe Tachard fights for the ball. Gustavo Oliveira fails to recover it, but he insists and wins it. Indio with Alarcón. Alarcón lost it. And here comes DME. Charles in short with Dani Villaplana. Dina Villaplana with a long pass. The header by Hudson Argolo. And now Alarcón plays back with Sanchez. And of course, because it was a pass back to the goalkeeper, the ref says it is a free kick for DME. The players are arguing that it got off on a player from DME. Let's watch it again closely. From this angle, it's hard to tell, really. The first thing I thought when I saw the play, it, it is that it was a pass back to the goalkeeper. <laughs> of course, Pedro, we can, we can say hi to your uncle Giuseppe. Well, free kick for DME as we approach the 15th minute of the second half. The sun has already set. And here we have Charles Dulcy and Mamadou Bilodiop talking about how to play this one. It's an indirect free kick, so if they want to score from this, Somebody should touch the ball first before it goes in. DME has the opportunity, the great chance of getting ahead in the game. Vincent Sanchez waiting, ordering the wall. Five players, there it goes. The pass, the shot, and it's in! DME takes the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Mama do pillow the up. Number nine gives DME Academy Soccer the lead in this friendly match against Lakeland. Perfectly executed after a mistake from Lakeland. DME Academy Soccer is winning the match. 2-1, let's watch the goal again. Look at the joy from the players. They were struggling on the first half. And after that, in only 16 minutes, they were able to get the lead. I would believe Cacti and Kern Road would be very happy after that. And of course, all the fans from DME. But I know Lakeland. And they won't be go and they won't be going down without a fight, that's for sure. Argolo with Thiago Goes. We're gonna have an amazing end of the game. I did promise you though. That ball goes to Legland. There goes the throw in to Alarcon. Argolo. Hudson. Back to Alarcón. Alarcón, be careful there. Luckily this time, Argolo to Tachar. Tachar going forward with Melo. Melo with Oliveira. Good passes here. And the recovery by DME. Iago Tomás. The ball got out. Good work by number five. Alarcón. Here comes Joao Indio. Oliveira back to Joao. And now Joao decides to play in short with Hudson Argolo. Back to Alarcón. Alarcón in short. With Diego Tomás back to Alarcón. Diego Tomás is ready for a new pass, but Alarcón decides to play with Hudson. Long pass. Tachar with the pass to Melo. Eduardo takes his time. He looks for Felipe. Tachar is going to make it. There he goes the cross. The clearance by Adade. And now Felipe puts some pressure on the midfielder. 
Good work by Felipe. And it's going to be a throw-in for Legland. Good job by number 13. In the offense and in the defense, helping Legland. But there's going to be a substitution, I believe. That's why the game is currently stopped. And it's going to be for DME, the substitution. There goes the other. Melo. It got off on Felipe the chart. It's going to be a throw in for DME. There goes the pass towards the center. Back to the defender, Adade, Joseph. They open the ball towards the left side. The pressure by Ruiz Asakura. DME. They lost the ball. Good recovery. Legland, good recovery here by DME, long pass, it seems like in a difficult position, Vicen Sanchez doesn't doubt, he sends the ball out of the field, good clearance by the Spanish goalkeeper, throw in for DME, there goes Joseph Adade, back to Jose Pedro, Chibuikem, no, back to Joseph Adade, the pressure by Iago Tomas. Joseph Adade plays to the left. Good run. An amazing pass. At least the intentions were amazing. Throw in. Google Lucena ready to do it. Guga tries to go in short with Diego Tomás. Diego Tomás plays back to Alarcón. Alarcón with Hudson Argolo. Hudson cool play with Felipe Tachard or Thiago Goes. They look for Felipe. McGee with the header. It's going to be a throw in for Legland. Seems like Legland insists on looking for Felipe Tachard on the left. He has become a key player for Eric Leite, at least in this game. Felipe could play with Hudson Argolo. He goes with Thiago Goes. Tachard. The cross, it got off on McGee. The assistant referee. I believe. I'm struggling to understand the call for this one. It's going to be a corner kick. Yes, it is. Corner kick for Legland. 20 minutes. Of the second half, 25 more to go. Eduardo Melo ready to send the ball flying. He decides to pass it with Diago Tomas. Great recovery. And it's a foul for DME. They already played it. Magui. There goes Gustavo Oliveira. Stopping the counter attack. And there it goes. Kwaku. Looking for Adade. Joseph. Adade back to the left, going forward now. The ball got out. Long pass towards the left, yet again, this time off target. There was the throw in. A ah, foul. Okay, the ref gave a foul to DME. And they already played it. Let's see. Doorman with Adade. Joseph opening to the left. The pressure by Ruiz Asakura. It's a throw in for DME. Yet again. They played it long. Guilherme Martins wasn't able to control it. It got off on Guga Lucena. It's a new throw in then for DME. They try to go to the center. Hudson Argolo recovered it and played with Thiago Goes. Thiago with a long pass and Joseph Adade with the recovery. Good by number five. McGee, Jonas in short. And here comes Mamadou Vilo Diop. Good dribbling by number nine, Felipe Tachard. Stopping the attack. The throwing has already been done. Be careful on this one. They should clear it out. Difficult passes from Legland. 
Alarcón. Towards the right with Guga Lucena. Guga back to Alarcón. Alarcón with the dribbling. Good job by him. And now Iago Tomás at full speed for a counter attack. Here comes Lakeland. DME stop them dead on their tracks. Once again, throwing for Legland as they fight to reach the equalizer. The ref gives the throwing for DME finally. Things are starting to heat up with the ref. The referee is being partial. Adade with Kwaku. Back to Adadi. Good dribbling by number five. Now Chukwaku. Back. Dorman. Back to Kwaku. The pressure by Melo. Look at the way Lakeland puts pressure on the players of DME. It's difficult for them. But at this counter attack, what is going to do Felipe Tachard? He's going to help Lakeland. That's what he's going to do. Offside position. Free kick then for Legland. Alarcón with Argolo. Hudson going forward. Gustavo Oliveira with Tachar. Felipe tries to go over McGee. He wasn't able. Mamadou Bilodiop. Number nine. He takes his time. He dribbles and he lost the ball. Fair and square. But still, it is a throw in. For the Emmy. Ladies and gentlemen, 25 minutes of the second half. 20 more to go in this better media production with the direction of Lautaro Bernadette with the assistance of Jorge Gentile. Thank you so much to all of you wonderful people following the game. And here comes Lakeland yet again. It's a really long pass for Eduardo Melo. He's not going to make it. Chibuy came back to Jose Pedro. Be careful here, Jose Pedro. He dribbles yet again, and now he passes it. It's an interesting pressure from Lakeland. Let's see if it works out. Good tackle, clean tackle, and here comes Lakeland for the equalizer. There's nobody there. Substitution about to be done. A throw in for Lakeland. A lot of things happening right now. Go Lakeland, says Geraldo de Ribeiro. This is a great match to watch before Brazil against Bolivia later, says Cristiano. It's also good to see how are the qualifiers going because I know Chile is playing against Uruguay. And at the halftime, they were winning 2-0 Uruguay. Let's see. Just a quick... Yeah, still Uruguay winning 2-0 against Chile with 20 minutes left. There goes the throw-in, Gustavo Oliveira. The throw-in should be done again. There it goes. Alarcón. Oh, no, Alarcón. Alarcón lost the ball. It's a throw-in for DME. Kwaku. The ref says to... Number 14, it wasn't a free kick, it was a throw-in. And there goes Charlie Triplett with the throw-in. Once again, Triplett with the throw-in. It's going to be a recovery by Alarcón, he should play back. He should play back. It was a foul from Charles Dotsi. And Alarcón already played with Gustavo Oliveira. On the left, here comes number 13. Here comes Felipe Tachard. Long pass from Felipe to number 33. We're talking about Fran Osorio. It's a player that I really like. He scored two goals on the friendly match against Florida Tropics. Let's see 
what he can bring to the table. Sasakura with the recovery. Rui, in short, they lost it. Rui Sasakura recovered it and played with Thiago Goes. Thiago Goes looking for the chart. Felipe with the control, with the pass back. It's a recovery for DME. Legland struggles. And now the ref is going to give a yellow card to, I believe, Eduardo Melo. Yeah, number 10. We get to see the play again. Right there. Charlie triplet with a long pass. The recovery by Vincent Sanchez. With the catch, he could play without a goal. Hudson with the control. On the left. Now he decides to go forward with Gustavo Oliveira, who fails to control the ball and gives the ball back to DME. Osorio. Good recovery by DME. Here, Felipe Tachar lost it. Good pass towards the left. Guga Lucena was trying to recover the ball. A previous foul here on the right side of the field. 16 more minutes to go. DME is winning 2-1. Yep, that push from behind from Osorio gave DME this free kick. McGee played towards the center. Good opportunity here on the left for DME. The ball. Finally, a Free kick for an offside position and Legland already played the ball. Argolo. Argolo. Oh no, this time Hudson failed to play with Felipe Tachard. It's a throw in for DME. There goes the throw in. McGee. Back to Chiwikem, long pass towards Charles Dotsi. The recovery by Osorio, Oliveira, Osorio, Oliveira, Melo. Adade with the clearance. With the chest, Lucena to Indio. Indio with Lucena going forward with Osorio. That's a foul. That's a free kick. Great play by Fran. Legland United with a free kick after a long time. It's good for them. Another substitution is about to be made. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much to all of you who decided to follow the game. And as always, if you have a final message to write you can leave it in the comments of Legland's YouTube channel and we can read it live. Just like we did with the Uncle Giuseppe. Joao Indio, back to Hudson Argolo. Here comes Thiago Goes. Thiago Goes with the pass. He tried to go forward. Now. Oh, it's a bad pass. It's a great recovery by DME. Finally, topping it, Joao Indio. Alarcón. Right now, McGee. Jonas McGee with the pass. It's a really long one. Great intentions for execution. Joe Indio opening the ball towards the right side with Alarcón. Alarcón back to Indio. Gustavo Oliveira, Macias, Blackiada. Macias with the ball. Macias going forward. Here comes Thiago Goes. 
Opening the ball towards the right side. Recovery. Here comes the ME. Finally, Legland. Recovering the ball. Back to Guga Lucena. Macias. Guga. Lucena advancing. Going forward now. Let's see. It's a long pass. Looking for the striker of side position. Offside position. Finally. And a yellow card against Paolo Gato because he decided to shoot after the offside position was marked. Long ball. The header by Dotsi. And now the header by Alarcón. Once again, Dotsi. Macias. Let's go, Jonas McGee, says Bryony Davis. Long ball looking for Gatto. Paolo goes forward and he is stopped. All thanks to number 21, Chiwickham. And now, number 23, Guga Lucena already played the ball. Back to Guga. Lucena has to play back. Matias Blackia. To the center of the field. Macias. Good pressure here by Magui. But great. Oh, unfortunately, Osorio wasn't able to understand well. With Guga, it's a throwing that Jonas Magui is about to do. Thanks so much to all of you. Watching the game. Leaving your messages. If you can, please leave your like. It really helps the channel to grow. The only place in YouTube where you find all the matches of Lakeland United. A foul and a free kick for Lakeland United. As we are about to play the last 10 minutes of the game. It's hard to see where the foul was right there. Still, Eduardo Melo. And Gustavo, no, Eduardo Melo, only the captain of Legland in front of the ball. Jose Pedro putting only two men on the wall. From that position, he could shoot, he could try. Just in the ball flying, looking for a header. The referee blows his whistle. Eduardo Melo, it got off the wall. And the rebound was rejected by Charlie Triplett. They put the ball back in the box. Jose Pedro with the catch. The goalkeeper of DME. Adade. Kwaku. Good passes here. Recovery. At least the pressure from Thiago Goes allows Lakeland to have a new throw in as we are getting closer to the end of the game. Only nine more minutes. There goes the throw in. Back. Good opportunity here. The clearance by Triplet. And now Matias Blackia. Oh no! It's a really long pass. With a little bit of luck, Vincent Sanchez is able to recover the ball before it goes in. Joao Indio. Matias Blackia, number 56. Gustavo Oliveira. And now Gustavo going forward. Long pass, long opportunity. Here comes. Oh no, he tripped. He slipped. He wasn't able to send the cross, and that's a foul. Clear as day. And a yellow card and a red card. Double yellow card and red card for number 33, Fran Osorio. Pedro Carvalho saying it wasn't a great match. It was terrible. They should improve the level, which is true for a team like Legland. I mean, the game for Legland wasn't great, but the match in itself, I think, it was pretty okay. Like, I mean, I've seen worse. That's the thing I take out from this. This was the last foul from Pranosorio, who received the yellow second, there's his second yellow card. 
That's why two yellow cards, one red card. He's being sent off. And after that, some arguments from both sides that end up in nothing. It is true what Pedro Carvalho says that Legland should aim to improve a lot. This is not the level expected from a team that has been crowned three times as champions of the Florida West Conference in the United Premier Soccer League. But, like I said in the previous broadcast of Lakeland against Florida Premier, it is to be expected that the level in the team goes down a little bit at least, since more than 20 players were transferred Actually, not more like transfer, but they were sent out to universities and colleges. And so, Eric Leite and the whole Lakeland squad are getting to know each other. They are still trying to find that good level that put them on the spot. And of course, one should trust the process. And not to say that DME is actually a really interesting and great academy soccer. Legland, alongside this, if you want to call it preseason, has played against the likes of Faulkner University, Fulham College, against Morton College, against Florida Tropics and DME Academy Stoker. Interesting teams, teams that I believe are more or less on the level Legland wants to be. Still, it's a long road ahead for the Swans. And at the end of the day, they can play better. <laughs> I can play on the midfield and I can do and I can do better. Although that is true, I believe that one of the main difficulties for Lakeland it is the midfield. I mean they do have interesting strikers. And a good defense. But aside from Eduardo Melo in the middle, they do struggle a lot in that regard and position. A free kick for DME. Right there, the foul by Gustavo Oliveira. Chiwikem with the cross, the header, and the recovery. Gustavo Oliveira playing back. Joao Indio. Joao with Matias Lachia. Four minutes left on the clock. Joao Indio. Joao back to Matias. I think that what's most concerning about this whole deal is that Legland on the second half wasn't able to shoot to the goal of Jose Pedro. Legland playing backwards and now they lost it. Good pass from Charles Dodsey back and now a long opportunity that ends up in nothing. Mamadou Bilo Diop arguing with his teammate about that last pass, Guga Lucena. Thiago Goes, actually. Long pass now, recovery by Chiwikem. Dorman. Blair Dorman going forward. Charles Dotsi. And now Charles playing slowly back with Kwaku. Chiwikem with Kwaku. McGee on the right. Kwaku takes his time. And now he plays towards the center. And here comes number 11, Lucas Chrisman. On the right, of course, McGee, Jonas with the cross, the header by Macias. Gustavo Oliveira needs to control the ball and take it out of that position. They go forward, Melo, Eduardo, in short with Thiago Goes. Here comes number 49, Gustavo Oliveira, towards the center with Melo. 10 players from Lakeland against 11 from DME, and the pass is too long. Throwing for DME. They are really close to achieve a great victory today. Yeah. 
There goes the throw-in. Legland tries to recover the ball. The clearance by DME. A foul from Legland. An offensive foul and a free kick. The ref tries to tell Charlie Triplett to do the throwing, to do the free kick in the right position. There goes the pass towards the right side, looking for McGee. Good control by Jonas. And now McGee goes with a long pass, looking for Mamadou. Good efforts by Mamadou. Below the up, guarding the ball, defending it. And now it got out. Last minute of regular time here at Feltrim Sports Complex. The referee didn't give the order. And now the throw-in is properly done. Vincent Sanchez with Matias Blachia going forward. There's no one there. Eduardo Melo failed to properly control it. And so DME has it yet again. Towards the left side. No. Bad pass. No control. Throw in for Legland. The match is about to end. DME Academy Soccer is about to win. A really tough match. They went down on the halftime 1 0. And they made a comeback, winning 2 1. Last few seconds. Thiago Goes with Felipe Tachard. Gustavo Oliveira, Felipe Tachard. They need to go forward. Felipe Tachar made a foul. It was clear that it was a foul. The ref didn't sanction it. But okay. Thiago Goes, we are playing injury time. Mathia, no, 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 we're not playing anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, the ref has blown his whistle. And this friendly match, this test match between Legland United and DME Academy Soccer has ended with the victory for the team, for the academy from Daytona Beach. It was an interesting and entertaining game that started with the victory of Legland United, all thanks to a penalty kick after a mistake from the goalkeeper Jose Pedro. Gustavo Oliveira received a foul and Gustavo Oliveira took care of the penalty kick and scored. Good job, DME Academy. Proud of you, McGee, says Bryony Davis. In the second half, with a mistake between Aragolo, Oliveira, but mainly Hudson, number 17, Charles Dotsy, was able to recover the ball and shoot to score the equalizer. After that, a mistake in the defense of Lakeland United once again. A backwards pass from Alarcón. Vincent Sanchez took the ball. A free kick for DME. And after that, Charles Chumamadou and Bilo Diop gave the victory to DME Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all here at Feltrim Sports Complex. After two matches, Legland United has won one. 3-0 against Florida Tropics and lost this one 2-1 against DME Academy. If you're a Lakeland United fan, you should know that the Swans are going to be playing next Saturday, not this Saturday, not tomorrow, the other one, September 16th against Intercity, when they are going to be looking for the first victory in this season of the UPSL fall season Florida uh, Florida West Conference. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all. This has been a broadcast, a stream produced by Better Media with the direction of Lautaro Bernadette and the assistance of Jorge Gentile. Once again, thanks so much from the bottom of my heart to all of you who stayed tuned till the end. It has been an honor and a pleasure to show you, to tell you the victory of DME Academy 2-1 against Lakeland United. Leave your like if you can. And if you can, please subscribe to stay tuned with all the matches, with all the information of the Swans, of Lakeland United. Until the next match of the Swans, until the next game of Lakeland United. I bid you a good night and until the next match. Bye-bye.